In this video, traders, we're going to look at five essential, crucial steps for new traders. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so if you're a brand new trader, you're probably getting bombarded with so much advice and this and that and the other, and ultimately, you know, it's your decision for how you're gonna progress. That's the great thing about becoming a trader is you get the choice of what you're gonna trade, the time frame you're gonna trade on, the size you're gonna trade, all these things, the world is your oyster. But there are some things, regardless of what you're gonna trade, whether you're gonna trade currencies, indices, commodities, swing trading, day trading, whatever, that really probably, in my opinion, should be stuck to. So let's start off with the first one, guys, and that is to plan your approach. Listen, I get it, it's exciting. You're starting off trading, you wanna open your account, get your money in and trade but just taking some time to stop and consider what you're actually going to do. Are you going to trade this particular market? Are you gonna trade this selection of market? Which currency pairs do you like to trade? Are you gonna day trade? Are you gonna swing trade? What type of strategy will you employ? This is something that should be spent, it should time should be spent on this, a decent amount of time. And I know it's tempting to open up the account straight away. I get it, I get it, right? Trading's enjoyable, it's exciting, it can be fun, and it can be very lucrative as well, but, just taking the time to think about what you're going to do, even if you're not so sure about the all intricacies of it. You don't have to be dialing everything right in straight away. That will come with time, but just some kind of idea on your approach, like the markets, like the position sizing, how much you're gonna risk, what times you're gonna trade, that sort of stuff. A loose plan is fine enough, is perfect enough to start off with, and then you can get going, then you can improve and adjust and stuff. But having some kind of plan will at least start you off on a great foundation. Okay, now's a great time, guys, to point out that this video is sponsored. It's their channel sponsor. There's a link to them in the description below. If you go and check them out, you'll see that they offer MT4 platform, super popular platform uh, for many traders out there, and MT5. They are regulated in different countries, multi-regulation. They offer major markets, as you'd expect, forex pairs, loads of the forex pairs, indices, commodities, shares, ETFs, you name it, they have got it. So go and check them out, there's a link in the description below, have a look around and see if they're the right broker for you. All right, so number two, guys, is don't deposit huge sums. Now, listen, if you've got a lot of money lying around and you're trying to put it to work, trading can be a good place for it. However, if you're just starting out, you are better off if you're going to do any bad trades, if you're going to struggle, if you're going to lose for the first six months, whatever it may be, losing a little bit of money. As tempting again as it is to say, hey, I'm gonna stick lots of money in here because if I double it, it's gonna be great. Just think, okay, worst case scenario, I'm new to the game, I'm going to make mistakes, I'm going to probably lose a bit of money before I start to get some traction. So just deposit a relatively small amount. You can always add more as you start to see your strategy working, as you start to see things working for you, however long that takes you. But what you can't do is get the money back if you struggle and you lose a lot of it. And that not only will that obviously damage your pocketbook because you're going to be losing a lot of money that you've pushed into the into the trading account but also damage your confidence you know if you're putting in a relatively small amount or much smaller than you perhaps could do then at least you know if you're hurting and it's and you're getting a drawdown from that it's not going to absolutely influence your net worth massively you can always push more in when you get the confidence built up when you've got the strategy when you feel more comfortable with the risk then you can always put more in so that's my advice on, on that one guys number three is monitor measure measure should i say and journal so this is something that many people completely ignore and that is monitoring your trades monitoring the markets as well and listen we, we spend a lot of time as traders monitoring the markets always looking to see what's going on doing our analysis and, and bits and pieces and if you're brand new you know you'll come up with a strategy that's kind of works and maybe you're looking at things now going it doesn't make any sense but you'll find a groove in time um, but one thing that many people don't do is they're not monitoring their own performance they kind of forget about it after the day or the week and they don't you know, improve on it. And it's all about monitoring your performance, measuring your performance, and writing a journal. Something I talk about a lot on this channel is, you know, the importance of a journal. That can be written, that can be typed, that can be audio, it can be short, it can be long. 
up to you. You know, there are people, some people who make a very short journal who are doing fantastically, others who are journaling massively, uh, long lengthy journals who are still doing okay. But the, the kind of commonality is, is that people are doing these things in their own way. You know, they're monitoring, they're measuring and they're journaling in their own style. So make sure you do that. So the fourth thing guys is, to focus on the process and not performance. Again, we're talking about temptation. It is tempting to look and say, oh, I've made this much money and that much money, or I've lost this much money. You know, that's not important in the beginning. When you're starting out and you're a new trader, get a process. You might not find the process is right for you straight away, but if you can get a process that you can work with and you can improve on, then ultimately, you know, the performance will come with time. So focus on that process of how you're tra trading, what you're analyzing, what your strategies are, what your risk management is, all this stuff, you know, focusing on that. And the last one, guys, is this. It's this constant cycle of learning, improving, adjusting. So learn, improve, adjust. So you learn, so you're learning from books, you're learning from external sources, and you're learning from internal sources, i.e., how are you trading? What are the kind of feedback you're getting from your own performance? So all that learning, and then you're improving. So as you learn, you make mistakes, you improve your trading, you get better at the things you're good at. You kind of try to reduce the things that you're not so good at and try to eliminate the things that are damaging to your trading account. And you adjust, you adjust your trading plan, you adjust your style, and then you learn again. You improve, you adjust. And if this process keeps going and going and going, you can't fail to get better and better and better as a trader. Listen, nobody knows when you'll get to a point where you're feeling confident and comfortable in the market and you know your equity curve is progressing nicely, you're always gonna have some drawdowns, but no, no when you'll get to that point. But if you focus on these things, major things, the process, constantly iterating, constantly improving, monitoring, measuring, all this kind of stuff, then you've got a great chance of at least being or accelerating your learning curve, you know, being ahead of the rest of the crowd who are diving in, you've got a good chance of really progressing at a quicker rate uh, than the majority of other people who are just starting out. Anyway, guys, uh, this video again is sponsored by, there is a link to those guys in the description below. Multi regulation offering good selection of markets and with the very popular MT4 and MT5 uh, platforms. Go and check them out, link in the description below. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye.